Now, Wiser, I'm going to ask very slowly for you to understand me. I'm about to read a letter here. Is the guy ready to play or isn't he? No, he's not. When will he be? As soon as I can find Mike Rogan. Uh, you're, you're, I'm, I'm making that guy put you to sleep. I'm bringing the karate master in to put you to sleep, whether you want to or not. No, we're not. Yeah, you're, he's just coming in there to knock you out. This guy can put you to sleep just with one touch. Where is he? Karate man. Bring the karate man in here. Karate man coming in. Okay, so when that guy's ready to, with his synthesizer, it's like a two-page letter for his girlfriend. Uh-oh. comes karate man. Why doesn't he have enough power to open the steel door? Oh, he's talking to Wiser about something. What's going on out there? Hey, Wiser. We don't have a show to do or anything. What are you doing? What was he saying to you, George? What was he saying to you? Telling me all kinds of things. What was he telling you? Well, I don't know, that he's tough. George, <laughs> can you put him to sleep? <laughs> oh, did you yeah. see that? I saw that. Yeah. Oh, man, but Weiser jumped. It was unbelievable. George just turned on Weiser like a snake. George, how are you, sir? Fine. Nice to see you. Okay. Are you in a bad mood? Oh, no, no. Uh, who's this guy? Uh, this is Bill Birch. He's from Minooka. Hey, what does that school. mean? He has a karate school in Minooka, a little town uh, uh, yeah, west You got to talk into Mike there, George. A little town west of here. It's Minooka. George, are you tell me you could have you could have put him to sleep just by touching him right now. This no, guy, wiser can... guy. No, not not yeah. Bill. We we work pressure points, and you work pressure points all over the body. I go all over the world, actually teaching the pressure points that are involved in the martial arts, the karate, and a lot of people uh, around the country. This is a new thing for them because the kata or forms that they do, they don't understand, do not have blocking moves. All the moves that are involved in those kata or forms are pressure point manipulation. So instead of knocking a guy out, you just walk up to him and put him to sleep? Well, the sleep portion is uh, a deeper part of the art. We don't, we don't really worry about that. I go around and I teach women how to do uh, self-defense by using pressure points, pressure points that will numb or paralyze someone's arm. Why, why do you just keep this? Who is this guy? You just keep sitting here shaking your head. This guy just... Wh wh I'm, I'm a student under uh, George Dillman. I've been a student since 1986. Uh-huh. And before that time, I was in another organization of karate, another style. <laughs> What are you doing in here? And uh, well, I came just to, <laughs> I'm just, I mean, as, a, as a visual I mean, aid. Oh, oh, you're gonna let him knock? No, no, no. I don't see George. Oh, by the way, that's Buzz. George said a uh, Buzz in there. Uh, okay. George Dillman. If, uh, if you want, we'll Buzz, Buzz. No, buzz, what buzz. I'm saying, I wouldn't trust. Not that I wouldn't trust you, but our audience, I would. You can't be in here because we wouldn't believe that you were really you wouldn't asleep. No, you have to Buzz, not. Buzz. Well, no, well, Buzz, oh. you said you would go to sleep. George could put you to sleep. <laughs> I want to see. Let's see him see him yeah. put Hank to sleep. Can, can I come around and just explain some pressure points on you and just yeah, touch let's one do or two? That. Sure, you want my back? You mean? No, no. I'll just touch one or two, and you uh, uh, tell what you feel about it because it's pressure points that are right on your arm. We we'll just touch them, and you'll find out what it does. Who's that? Is that Hank? Come on, anyone, Hank. Uh, here's who you want to put to sleep. Yeah, will you do me one? Can you put Hank to sleep? <laughs> can you put Hank to sleep? <laughs> so, uh, can, can hey. I? Yeah, go ahead. Hey, what happened to you, man? What do you mean? What, what happened to you? Not much. I was, uh... I can't hear myself, but anyways. You can't? You got to turn the headphones up. Can you put him to sleep for me, just to see if he goes to sleep? <laughs> could you do that? Well, we could, but, uh... He, he, I don't want to knock anything, but he's a little skinny person, and if his health is not right, it could hurt him. Come yeah, on. I, yeah, well, so I am too, huh? No, you look good and healthy. I have no arms. I have not one ounce of muscle in my arm. You could, you could knock me out just like no, that. No, I just want to touch a few. Can I come around and touch you a touch few? You touch my arms? Sure. Sure. It won't hurt you. No, just come on. his wrist and... Yeah, come on over. Are you going to put me to sleep, though? <laughs> hey, if you're going to put me to sleep, warn me, because I'm running the board here. <laughs> okay. Hey, Johnny, I'll do the show if he puts you to sleep. All right. Who said we, that? Build it. We right. teach pressure yeah. points to okay. control. For instance, this people... Are we going to do some weird... No! Hold on a minute. Okay. This is too cool. The studio, Mike. Shut up, Hank. I'm sorry. People okay. teach women self-defense, okay, and they don't show them this pressure point. There's one pressure point right outside the wrist. Okay. Now, you make a tight fist. All right. If I try to bend your wrist by any other method, I cannot. It's right. strong. And yet, they teach women self-defense to get out of a hold. If I just touch a pressure point right there, now, don't let me bend your wrist. Okay. I'm just going to touch it. Okay. And Whoa! You, you cannot resist. Oh, oh, oh my God! Don't let him bend it. Ow! 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 Ow!
There's a person hey, right Oh my God! Can I ask you a question? We go back to the first for a second. Hold on. Unbelievable. Right in here. Ow! Wait, wait. Let me ask you a question though, George. Yeah. You know when he did that thing with the wrist, it that's like in Steven Seagal in uh, yes. in uh, Hard to yeah. Kill. Yeah. Where he, where he takes that thing and just cracks. Is that? Well, what he did? I didn't do that. I, I just, know, but you could. I only it releases. Touch. If I just it, touch, I, that's amazing. Ow! Yeah. Ow! And he was. I knew he wanted to get me. Exactly. He was <laughs> mad. Yeah. He was mad because I didn't recognize his name. Right? No, no, no man. That's it. He was mad with God. I know you were mad. I said you were going to come in and beat me up, and you did. Here's your point. You feel this? Wow, what is that, that? That releases the elbow, so I can move Oh the my God! I break the elbow, oh I'm going back here. He could have broke okay. my elbow in two seconds. Let's oh, oh, break oh, the oh, elbow. Oh, 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 please, George, <laughs> please, oh yes. God, oh my God. Do you feel I it? give up, George, yeah. I love you. It's now, amazing. <laughs> no, wait, wait, if, if, if we just touch you. No more, George. Touch no. him. What? Wait, keep, it, keep your jaw together. Most people teach to hit here, under the jaw. Oh God, George. Oh my God. Oh, George. Are you right? That's it. That's it. Oh, George, don't hurt the jaws, George. Hey, I am not the We need the jaws. George, no, George. Break the arms, break the legs, but leave the jaws alone. Watch out, George. Let me go back to the other side. You guys, did you see what he just did? Yeah, you just keep him out of here, too. Okay, so why is it? I've just been beaten to within an inch of my head. I remember when they say, this won't hurt at all. This yeah. one hurt a bit. George, so you were mad at me. And no. you, you were mad when you came in. You were mad because I did because I, I was waking up. It's a Monday. I started out in a bad mood. <laughs> and uh, I said, George, I don't remember him. Then all of a sudden I realized you're the guy that I always saw cutting that watermelon in half on people. Yeah. And you came and you, you said to yourself, you're going to give me a headache. And you did. <laughs> I mean, you really, you just gave we, me the worst headache I've can, ever had in my life. We can cure that headache. No, you're not touching me. I anymore. Can, <laughs> you're I'm not touching not me. Touching I can me. touch it with pressure points. No, you are not. Uh, and now let me ask you this. Oh, God, I need aspirin. I just, we're teaching he took a my seminar, jaw. Huh? Did, Buzz, did you just see what he did? Yes. Yes. <laughs> George, describe what you just did. My jaw was shut, and you it took it and moved it. You no, know, it's actually only a touch to a pressure and point. And your student just loves this. Yeah, well, he's had this done to him. It's oh, a, I like to see it done to other people. Oh, know? man. It's a touch to a pressure point that actually will release the jaw. And this is how serious it should be for women if they learn self-defense. People teach uh, women and children a lot of useless self-defense by palming under the chin or palming under the nose. And that type of self-defense does not work in a real situation. Well, I'll tell you, I, just the things you did to my arm and to my elbow, if, if a woman knew that, right. you'd have to, because I don't think you'd have to be, uh, what, so you, you told him, so Wiser told you to do this to me, right? Is that why you guys no. looked at each other? No, the producer said she wants me to show her some pressure points. I'm going to show her some pressure points. Yeah, oh, yeah. This tell me, over. I was going to say, I don't think you have to be strong. You tell me if I'm wrong here. Have to be strong to do what you just you did. You do not have to be because strong because all you did was just touch it. And my it. whole my whole arm just bent in, and I you know I'm not a muscle man, but that, uh, that's the true art of karate, Johnny. That's why I follow him all over the country. And Does he know you're following him? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm always there. We have, we have people all over the country that are doing this. We have a seminar oh. tonight out at the Holiday Inn at Portage, Indiana. And we're doing a seminar where we're going to teach pressure points. Anybody's invited. Yeah, why don't we get that, that number? Uh, get that number. You know where that is? Oh, God. That's it. Uh, yeah. It's it's it, I, I just didn't think I would get a headache out of it like that. Uh, but it's amazing because you, know, you always think of karate just like, hoo, ha, hoo, 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 right. where you're whacking the guys and nailing them and, you know. We use the positive and negative electricity in your body, and we actually short out your electrical circuit the same way you would the two battery terminals of a car. If you took your positive and negative and touch them together, sparks fly. I can take his positive and negative and actually just touch them together, and the person goes. Uh, where do you get where do you get the positive sleep? and negative from? The, the positive is in the front portion of the head, right? The negative would be in the back portion of the head. Yeah. And all I have to do in a self-defense situation is rest my head against his head and tap behind the head. When you say rest, if, like you see a lot of the movies where the guy will bang his head if, against the uh, his uh, the other guy's head. This is just touching. St stand up and watch this. Okay. Just stand. I can see it. No, I can he, see. he's going to go down on the floor. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Oh, great. Oh, he's great. Gonna go yeah. Well, I bet he's really looking forward to that. Yeah. Well, hey, listen. As long as it's not me, George, I don't care. Okay, wait. Uh, I will take my head and I'll, right. I'll rest it against his head, which shorts out his electrical circuit. I will touch him in the back of the uh, the skull in a pressure point that's back here that actually is, is going to control the electricity going in and out of the head from the spine. And I put this against here. 
all so okay. oh. And he drops like a sack of potatoes. He's, he's... Uh oh. Is he okay? Uh oh, I, something's wrong with him. Is he okay? Yeah. He, he, folks, I gotta tell you, he's he's oh he's uh he is out of it. Is he okay, George? You... Yes. Yes. So come around. He will, but he hasn't yet. And I, I, would, Weiser, I wouldn't even wish that on Wiser. I wouldn't even wish what I just saw happen really? on Wiser. Did you see? Wow. You I, got, I just saw him drop. But I, you have to see his, yeah. his face. He's totally out now, of it. If, you could, if someone wants to look, if you look at look, the look pupils. At, look at his eyes. They're dilated. They're, yes. they're up in the air. Yes, if you look at the eyes, the pupil is large. He has no vision. He, he has, can't even. He has, he's, no he's, like, he's totally out of his mind. No vision for 20 minutes. Oh. Uh, did you just say he won't be able to see for 20 minutes? No, he'll be able to see, but everything will be blurry. And yeah. and I, I will restore the energy going into the... And now, uh, George, you are, uh, I, I can barely hear you, but you're rubbing his... You're rubbing his uh, put his mic down for Wiser, wake up. No, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay. Got it. Uh, you all right, yes, Bill? Yeah, Bill? I'm okay, John. You stayed there a while. Bill, right? Wow. Right. Bill, man, just don't move, okay? Okay, go ahead. You went down like... I mean, I've never seen anything like that in my life. Yes, it, it's, it's called one-second fighting in karate. And a lot, a lot of people don't know of its existence, but one second fighting means if you touch somebody or hit them one time, the fight is over. The uh, fight's over. George, um, let me describe what Bill looks like, uh, folks. You know what you look like when you just kind of wake up? When you're just out of a, you know, you just, let's say someone just woke you up. That's exactly what he looks like. He's just sitting there and, uh, oh, Bill. Bill, I saw you go down. I mean, you couldn't have faked that. Now what? I, I have a question. I noticed as soon as the guy dropped, George ran behind him and tried to bring him back around. What if he didn't do that? The, there's, there's a possibility that uh, in that particular knockout that the person could go into a coma if he was not revived. Not immediately, but you should revive him as soon as possible. Yeah, you went back there and you began to rub the back yes. of his head as fast as you could. I mean, you moved fast. Uh, right. You, you looked kind of nervous about it for well, a second. Right off, right off the base of the uh, spine is a nerve that's called the wake-up nerve. And you've got to tap it to fire the electricity back oh, in wow. the brain. What I did was shut off the electricity going into the brain, the same as you would with your car. You would short it out and spark it. When I do my seminars... I knock out hundreds of people. I've knocked out thousands all over the world. We can do it on the arms, the legs, the body. It is dangerous. But I teach this for immediate self-defense, and I also teach black belts that are higher level. I teach them higher levels of karate. Can I thank you at this moment for not doing that to me? And yes, you, you could have done, You could have come back here and... Well, yeah. that's, that's what I didn't want to do to you, because uh, your radio show would have... I would have been the, uh, the man for the well, next day. George, is that what you mean by putting people to sleep? Is yes. that what you do? Yes. That's the fastest the sleeping pill I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was... Uh, oh, boy, unbelievable. How did I hit the floor, Johnny? You hit it like yeah. a rock, man. Yeah, it, and I got... I, that was a... Everyone just here one just jumped up and looked at him. It's uh, 7.44. George, we'll come back and just find out where you're going to be so all these people out there can uh, learn a couple okay. of these things. 7.44, the loop, AM and FM. Okay, Mary, what do you say we tell... For rules and two free game pieces, send a stamped self-addressed envelope to P.O. Box 4467, Blair, Nebraska, 68009. The Loop AM and FM, Chicago, George Dillman, Karate what a Master. Day for Bears football. And this crowd is hot. Well, I'll do that in a second. Hold on. Hey, George, you got to give that uh, number out. Uh, well, you, George is telling us something off the air. Why don't you uh, make sense of that here on the air? Uh, what, you, what are you saying? The Japanese didn't teach us correct karate because they didn't want us to know the real thing? That's about it. Because of World War II, you have to understand if we went to war, let's say, with Russia right now, and they come over in this country, and we had real secrets, we wouldn't teach them. And what happened was they were teaching the moves of karate for the money from the American soldier, but we had just won a war over those countries, bombed them and killed a lot of people, etc. So what happened was they taught them some karate moves, but they didn't teach them the true secret behind the moves. And this is the secret behind the moves, the angle and direction for the pressure point manipulation. So you're saying the uh, hi, 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 the the movement, getting to the move is just a showbiz? Yes. Basically? Yes. Sort of a show, an act? This, That's right. This stuff is, uh, right. folks, I'm moving my arms around. <laughs> uh, and, and when you get right into it, that's the uh, that's action. That's right, the, the meat kata, of the matter. The kata are the forms that were taught, actually, is like a map of the human body. Like, like you look at a road map to get somewhere. You do a kata or form, and it maps out how to knock people out. 
you're, you're wired like an electrical circuit in a house. Your spine is your circuit well, breaker, you, and your nerves are the wires. You would not go to sleep now after seeing what you just no, saw, uh, right? Uh, yeah, uh, there's no, there, no... Oh, boy, am I glad. I wouldn't have wished that on anybody that didn't... Uh, uh, that, that was, Bill, uh, Bill you, what, what sort of physical sensation do you experience when that happens? Well, it's like uh, if you look at the light bulb and then turn it off real quick, <laughs> yeah. it's just a shock. <laughs> and then, and then uh, that's why I asked how, how I fell, because it feels slow motion. Yeah. You, well, you did, it didn't look slow motion, well, okay? It didn't. And, and just the little things you did, just to my elbows and my jaw, it's like, gee, I, I mean, I don't want to go through that again. And... Uh, I think that's worse than getting a punch in the face. I mean, because it immediately stops. What but it's quick. See, the fight's over in one second. Yeah, yeah that's the last thing. I mean, uh, that's it. What is that called again? The thing you just did on him? Where you put him well, to sleep? What was that it, called? It, well, it's actually nerve attacks. And uh, I'm from Redding, Pennsylvania. Have you ever heard of that? Yeah. No, I've heard of it, sure. It's, it's Redding, uh, spelt uh, R-E-A-D-I-N-G, like it's reading, but they pronounce it Redding. Uh -huh. And... Uh, they're famous for pretzels, hosiery, and karate, and I have the Dillman Karate Institute in Reading, Pennsylvania, if anybody wants to get a hold of me. All right, you got a number there, George? Well, my number is uh, area code 215-777-8444, and we sell videotapes on pressure points and how to manipulate them. All right. All right. And uh, in uh, Chicago? Man in Manuka, we're west of Joliet, about 10 minutes. I've been with Dillman since 1986, and we teach us also. And obviously not as well as him, but I follow him as much as I can to teach it. And my phone number is area code 815-467-6216. Okay, guys, good luck to you. Now, don't touch it on the way out, okay. especially that Hank guy. Hope That's to see it. you at the Holiday Inn tonight. Oh, yeah, he's at the Holiday Inn. At Portage. Uh, plus, we're going to be there. Holiday oh, Inn, absolutely. Portage, Indiana, uh, in Hol George's, uh, George Dillman's seminar tonight. Portage, Indiana, the Holiday Inn, and at 7.50, I'm the Lou. Will I ever get a vacation?